welcome to my channel. Today we have a very special version of Truth or Drink with my best friend, Jesse Ennis. Say hello. Hello, YouTube. I'm Jesse Ennis. Jesse and I are here. We've both been tested, and the door to the garage is open, and we are at a distance. We've taken a whole new approach to the iconic truth or drink, and instead of drinking alcohol, we're gonna drink disgusting liquids and we don't know what they are. I hope they're not disgusting. Okay, I'm hoping some of them feel like a mocktail. Judging by the color, I'm not feeling very confident in that journey for us. How do we know who we can? Rock, paper, scissors? Sure. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So that means I go? Or you get No, to go. I won. Oh, so you get to go first. Yeah. I'll read you a question. Okay. After you've dropped a piece of food, what's the longest time you've left it on the ground and then ate it? Wow. I mean, listen, I'm not gonna like drop something on the ground and then like I walk by an hour later and I'm like, oh, that looks great. To each his own. I'm gonna say I haven't gone longer than a minute of a food being on the ground before. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. I can't really think of a time that I was like, yes, ground food. Have you ever looked at each other as competition or have you compared yourselves to one another? Oh, are we both supposed to answer these questions? Maybe we are. I've okay. definitely compared myself to you before. For sure. I don't feel like we're in a race together. If anything, we're like in a relay race. I know we're helping each other out. We both cry to each other about like, I'm not doing what you're doing. Yeah, for, I don't think we've ever been at the same jobs or anything, have we? No. <laughs> It's possible, but definitely the comparison. I think where we're healthiest is that we actually acknowledge it instead of being like, no, I've never ever. Why would I compare myself to anyone, let alone the person I know best? All right. <laughs> it's a blank question. Oh. What's a question you'll refuse to answer, so you'll try one of these drinks? What's the stupidest thing you've spent money on? I will <laughs> smell it? It definitely has like yellow food coloring in it. Okay. okay. It, oh, you know what it is. Yes. Okay, we so have little pieces of paper underneath each bottle that tell us what's in the container. I think you might like it. Oh, is this like flat Red Bull? Yes. Really? Yes, with something else in it. Oh, with food coloring. Yes. It's Red Bull with green food coloring. So it gives it that urine, that extra urine. Oh, if you want a little pep, it's here for you. Thank you. Do you pick your nose when you're alone? Yes. Of course. I do it when I'm not alone. Do you do it at work? At work, I'll be kind of discreet about it. But like, if I know it's happening, I'll do like that. And then the makeup artist is like, do you want a tissue? And I'm like, this is far more skilled than a tissue. I don't think that there's any shame in picking your nose. It's the eating of it that I think oh, is Oh god, no, no. Yeah. Because I feel like kids do it, but then like at what age is it just like, yeah, no, you can't do that. Stop eating your boogers? Yeah. Ten. Ten? Yeah. Once you hit double digits, that's when you've segued out and yeah. sorry you graduated. You absolutely cannot pick your nose and eat it. Talk to me. That's the rules. We don't make them. <laughs> well, okay, well we did. We made that one. <laughs> when was the last time I embarrassed you and why? Should we drink to that? Yeah. I kind of just want to drink these. I do too. It has a chocolate no, milk look. But it also look. has oil. <coughs> Enjoy that. Kind of thick. It's like drinking a dressing. Is it chocolate too? I'm it's not taking another sip. Because not... I said that, that was too much. No, was, I really feel like I'm drinking a salad dressing. This is salad dressing. That's definitely balsamic. Black garlic balsamic vinaigrette. I was drinking salad dressing. <laughs> Perfect. Have you ever kept a library book? I'm not answering the question. <laughs> That's and illegal. Don't do it. Don't ever do that. Why would you do that? But I do cherish the one that I stole. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. No, 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 no. That's offensive. I'm not taking another sip, but I don't know what the fuck that is. Wait, it reminds me of something. Dirt? There's something in there that I recognize, but I don't want to drink it again to find out. Is it dirt juice? There's a smell. Oh, God, it's horrible. It smells like a fish taco. Canned sweet pea juice. I'm shook. What item would you burn from my closet? You have really cute clothes. I like your clothes. Like I get rid of my clothes so frequently. Mm -hmm. Good luck. I don't know, I guess I have to take another drink. Hey, okay, here we go. Now this one looks like a grape juice, maybe a cranberry. Oh. It could be like a cranberry cola, but I'm assuming it's something disgusting instead. Cheers to sweet pea juice. Oh, oh yeah, it's gonna be mm. Yes, Dr. Pepper. Yes, thank goodness. Cherry Dr. Pepper. D -D -P. Okay. Here we go. We're on a journey, folks. What outfit would you steal from my closet? I love that wetsuit that you just wore. Oh, yeah. I, I looked it up and I was about to buy it. Yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. it. It sold out in my size. I think I would steal that. Also, just the bod. 
<laughs> just steal the mannequin. The steal the pod. Thank you. <laughs> I have been thinking about this actually because I did steal something from your closet. The sweatshirt. Oh yeah, I still have it. I love that you have that. Have you ever disliked one of my boyfriends? Yes. <laughs> Who wrote these questions? How do you mean drink? Yes. Yeah, we both know exactly what it was too. Yeah, and also, have you ever disliked? Yes. Me? <laughs> there you go. Of course. What is friendship if not yes. disliking someone that your best friend is dating? Yes. Especially when we've been friends for so long. Of course. Yes. Oh, if we switched lives, what would be your favorite part? I love this question. Oh. Well, Brie has a sauna. That would be nice. your favorite part? Yes, I think I would like the sauna life. The thing that I would like out of your life, I feel like you just had amazing incredible people and you get to laugh a lot yes that's the joy of my life you are really funny and your job is like to laugh and make people laugh that's not totally part of my job mine's more of like erode my stomach with worry <laughs> get an ulcer yeah or think i have an ulcer go to the doctor for an ulcer i don't have one right. but like What's I the should? problem we don't know what the problem yeah, is yeah that's yeah. more my lane I haven't had that yeah I wouldn't wish that for you. Don't take that. If we switch bodies, just don't do that. <laughs> What's the last time you told a white lie to anyone? I can't think of the exact time, but definitely if I'm running late, there are times when maybe it's like a bunch of shit happens and instead of being like, I'm so sorry I'm late because this happened and this happened and this happened, I'm just like, I'm sorry I'm late or I'm sorry I'm late, there's traffic. That's not lying. What the hell? What's a lie then? You're not a good liar. I you have to drink. Ugh. I'll drink too because I'm not answering. Oh, God. Sloshy. Enjoy your curiosity. Ew. Ew. Here. I want people to know about the thickness. I think you called it. Actually, it wasn't so bad. The initial hit was hard. Oh, oh it's God. just pure Worcestershire sauce. Really? Mm -hmm. That's what that tastes like? What's the... <laughs> What's the worst movie or show that you've been in? Hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, we'll be drinking. <laughs> it's bad to answer that question, right? Be like Bree and Jesse, truth or drink, and spill all the tea. Like number one headline is that that all was bad. <laughs> mm. It tastes like. Wait, this is familiar. It's like so. Oh, so be yourself. Is it like a Gatorade? Yeah, I'm thinking it's Gatorade. Gatorade or like Propel or something like that. Yeah, I can taste electrolytes. And this actually feels very revitalizing after all we've been through. Oh, Glacier Cherry Gatorade. Glacier, I didn't know. The color that it is. What's your most shallow reason for not going on a second date? Oh, standards are pretty, pretty low. <laughs> I've gone on a lot of second dates. Someone had weird lips, and so I just knew I wasn't gonna like kissing them. Wow. I made out in his car for a while, and I was like, his lips are made of like gum. Like they were so stretchy and thin. Not a nice kiss. Yeah, no, you don't want that. I've definitely, like, not been into someone because of, like, their hair or how they dress, mm -hmm. for sure. Who's an actress slash actor you've gotten along with the least? <laughs> <laughs> what number are we in? I think, well, 10, because the rest of them are open. It's the blue one. Wait, this is mouthwash. Oh, it looks like oh, there's a car Now that you said mouthwash, it's only oh, for so much. Just sparkling water? With blue food coloring. Yeah, that's lovely. Not mad. It's like a princess drink. Yes, sparkling water with blue food coloring. What's your, oh no, memory that pops in your head frequently? This is one of those questions that the whole drive home I'll be like, oh, and there's another good one. Oh, I have one. It's so dumb. Yeah. There was a night where we were having dinner with our neighbors and I was in charge of cooking dinner. And I was like, I've never cooked short ribs before. How do I do it? And like, oh, you just put it in a crock pot for two hours. And I was like, doesn't seem right. In my head, I thought it was like you put it in for a really long time, but I was like, whatever, gotta trust the expert. So I did it as directed and it just didn't look right. And everyone was trying to be nice and they were like, Brie, you always do this. Like everything you make is great. We so appreciate you actually like taking the time and cooking something, you know, you could just pick something up. Like and it was this whole beautiful speech and then they all ate it and 
It was so bad, so <laughs> chewy, and I knew it, but then because there was this impassioned speech before, I that. no one could say the truth. I hate it. And then like a week later, I cried about it and was like, I just need to make sure of again because I don't feel good about this, about what happened. That's a strong oh no moment for me. My oh no moment is probably this time I agreed to go to an audition after working all night long. We wrapped at like 6 a.m. and I was like, I can do anything. I've got this. I showed up like not at the, I'm always completely off book. I was not completely off book, but I know plenty of people hold their sides and they look at it and they say the lines and so I was like, I can do this. I went in there, I'm <laughs> like doing the scene. I'm exhausted, but I'm like doing my best. And we go through the scene the first time and the producer was like, well, now that you've read it, do you want to do it again? And I was like, I don't have to. I can leave now. I can just go. <laughs> It's okay, I can tell this one isn't gonna go well. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Who are you secretly attracted to? Secretly attracted to? My service. Not a secret anymore. Secretly attracted to like a live person? Or a cartoon. Well, I'm gonna say cartoon, just be like, I have a crush on Buster Keaton did that. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool answer. I saw her something good one. It's not really a secret. I like really admire her and I love how free she is in her sexuality. That being said, if she was like, let's make out, I'd probably be like, oh, I'm not cool enough. <laughs> My lips are gone. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We're transparent queens. I'm impressed with how much we were, I mean, we basically had to force ourselves to drink all of this disgusting stuff. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Brie. Oh, also, P.S., we're starting a podcast. So I'm sorry, like, what? Ah, uh, so, <laughs> if you enjoy this vibe and want more of it, we'll, we will be discussing very important questions and our thoughts on them. So look out for that. In the meanwhile, I hope you are feeling happy and safe in your body. Stay safe out there. Uh, sending you love. We love you. Just get a plan. Bye.